song that whenever we pull it out, um, and I always see it's inspired by 14th century literature, and everybody glazes over like that. Oh. <laughs> I don't know we can say that it's inspired by the top of the pops. Because huh? we'll never have boils. <gasps> yes, boils. Fumos in our underarms. Because we rely on magic, magic charms. And we hide out on the farm. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait for it. We wrote this like a month ago. <laughs> 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 Let me tell you a story, story. <laughs> Just Boccaccio and me, about a fool, a fool, a fool, and a smart man in a tree. <laughs> The young Madonna Lydia went out to take a stroll upon the arm of Don Ambrulio, her newly wedded lord. Their serving man was Pyrrhus, that day his chance befell. Though he was the husband's man, he longed to be her man as well. So sweetly said Madonna with a twinkle in her eye, I see a tree hung low with fruit, oh, the highest one is ripe. The dawn looked sagely upward, he nodded his assent, so the servant stripped his shirt and hose, and up the tree he went. Up into the pear tree was handsome Pyrrhus sent, and there he thought of a clever plan, and this is how it went. Oh, there he thought of a clever plan, and this is how it went. Above young Pyrrhus made a show of looking shyly down. My lord, I cannot blame you, but it seems to me unwise to kiss your wife so boldly here, right before a servant's eyes. And Rulio was taken aback. My boy, what's that you say? My wife and I are sitting here, not entwined in Cupid's play. Said Pyrrhus, soul of innocence, my eyes cannot agree. But here, come up and take my place, my lord. Perhaps it is the tree. <laughs> so up into the pear tree, the foolish husband went. Well, Pyrrhus thought of the prize below and hastened his descent. To our Pyrrhus thought of the prize below and hastened his descent. Oh, there he thought of a clever plan. 